Hey, it's Tim here. In 23.2, you can now filter and sort in the Lineage tab inside of Tableau. To find out how, let's get stuck in. Okay, so here I am in the Lineage tab. Uh, to get here, all you need to do is go to the Explore tab, go to Specific Data Source, and uh, once you're at the data source, I'm going to go to this one, Top Salesperson, because I know it has a little bit more sort of interesting uh, perspective for this particular example. So once I get here, you'll see a couple of things. Firstly, you'll see that this data source is certified. And secondly, you see that it's inheriting a sensitivity label from a data source or a, a piece of information or metadata from a higher or lower level, essentially upstream or downstream from this particular point. Um, and uh, it kind of has a capability in here. So um, it's it's super important to be aware of these because these can have an impact on what you're trying to do. Nonetheless, um, if we actually look here, we're on the Ask Data tab. If we go across, you'll see Lineage is the last one. If we click on that, you should be able to see this. Now, if you don't see this, it might be that your organization doesn't have the data management add-on deployed on its Tableau server. I know from first-hand experience that not a lot of organizations do actually have this on by default or enabled. So if this is something you think your organization wants, uh, by all means, reach out to Tableau. It's priced a little bit weirdly, but I won't get into that right now. <laughs> and so if we move this over to the left-hand side, um, you'll see that I have three columns essentially in my field. And over here, if I bring out my annotation tools, uh, you'll see that we have the filter and sorting capabilities. Now, the really nice thing about this uh, is that you, previously you could actually uh, you know, find what you needed, but you needed to sort of go down the list and sort it by name as you could already do here and use that alphabetical sorting to kind of quickly get to what you want. Um, now you can just, for example, type in order and hit enter and it will go ahead and search that list and it will just filter to that particular field. So that's one thing. Uh, this is useful in you know really large data sets. If I go to the second tab, you'll see that I can sort in alphabetical order, but I can also order by sheet. So these are essentially fields and their relevant sheets. Now there's something weird going on here because I know for a fact that order ID is used in two sheets, but it's not showing up here. For some reason, the count isn't sort of updating correctly. So you can see here it says zero, but yet, if I show you this, you can see that it is actually being used in workbooks downstream. So either I'm misunderstanding this particular requirement, maybe it has to just be uh, used as is, but I've essentially got a sum going on that does use order ID, even though the order ID should be a distinct. I used the sum to test this feature and it seems to just not be working. So I can't explain why that is right now. I don't want to go into that. Um, but nonetheless, you can sort these fields based on which are most or least used. And when you switch to sheets, you can see that it switches over to least and most. So that's pretty much it. This is a very basic feature just to help people find things quicker inside of the Lineage tab. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.